Hooray, hooray, it's a Missy Holiday. Though we're at home, we're not alone. Missy Holiday. Hooray, hooray, it's a Missy Holiday. We're stuck indoors, we won't be bored. Missy Holiday. Hooray! Welcome to Messy Church Right at Home, week two! My name is Simon, I'm part of the Messy Church team. Thanks for coming, it's great to have you with us. I uh, hope you enjoyed last week's, uh, if you didn't, the video's still there available. It was cool, uh, we've, we've seen some of the activities and stuff people have done on the Friday Zoom. Don't forget this Friday, you can tune in, meet with Abby and show what you've made from this week's activities. With all the great things from last week, question marks popping up with some more questions. We'll have another prayer. I'll do a little summary summary at the end. And we're still looking at Jesus. This week is who he makes friends with. So I'll hand you over to Abby, who's going to tell you this week's story. The story of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a man who lived in Jesus' time. He was a tax collector. Now, taxes didn't work back then the way they work now. Zacchaeus went door to door, meeting people to collect their taxes. Sometimes he took a little bit for himself. He wasn't a very nice guy. People didn't really like him. He was also really short. One day, Jesus came to the town where Zacchaeus was. The crowds were gathering. Everyone wanted to see Jesus, meet the man who was saying all these wonderful things and doing amazing things. Zacchaeus had heard about him and wanted to meet him too. But the problem was, nobody liked Zacchaeus, so they wouldn't let him to the front of the crowd. He was so short, he couldn't see over people. So Zacchaeus decided to climb a tree. He climbed higher and higher until he could see Jesus and everything he was doing. Jesus saw Zacchaeus up in the tree, and he called to him, Zacchaeus, come down. I'm having dinner at your house tonight. The people around Jesus were not happy about that. They looked at him and said, why do you want to have dinner with Zacchaeus? He cheats and he lies. Zacchaeus looked up and said to Jesus, if I've cheated anyone, I'll pay them back four times the amount I took from them. I'm going to live a better life and give money to the poor. Jesus came to seek the lost. When Zacchaeus met him, his life was changed forever. Because of Jesus' friendship, Zacchaeus became a better person and a better friend. Hello everyone, I'm Diane. What a great story that was, a wonderful story of Jesus and his friend Zacchaeus. Hello, I'm the question mark and I am furious. Zacchaeus was a meanie, wasn't he? Yes, nobody liked him because when he took people's tax money he took more than he should have and he actually stole money from people. He then became very, very rich by doing the wrong thing. He had no friends at all. Why did Zacchaeus climb up a tree? Well, it says he was a very short man. So small, he realised he'd have to get up a high tree to see Jesus when he came into the town. Why did such a bad person want to see Jesus, who was such a good person. Did he want to cheat and steal from him too? Zacchaeus heard all about the good things Jesus had done, like healing the sick and telling truthful stories and performing miracles. Everyone was excited about Jesus coming. He thought, I want to see this great man that everyone's talking about. The people in the town didn't like Zacchaeus, so they wouldn't let him get near the front of the crowds to see Jesus. Was he in a bad mood as he had to climb a tree to see Jesus? Yes. So when he went was up the tree, Jesus looked up and talked to him and arranged to meet with him. He talked to him like a real friend. But if Zacchaeus was a tax collector, a meanie, someone who cheated and lied to people. Why did Jesus want to be friends with someone like that? Jesus loves everyone, even people who do bad things. He saw that Zacchaeus could become a good person if he was given the chance. So Jesus decided to be friends with him and show other people he could be good. 
I bet he almost fell out of the tree with surprise when he heard Jesus talking to him. Jesus was kind to Zacchaeus, like a true friend. Zacchaeus realised all the wrong he'd done and promised he'd give all his money away. He paid everyone he had cheated four times the amount he'd stolen from them and he got himself a new job and he never stole from people again. He was a good friend. I'm confused. What makes a good friend? Well, question mark, I thought you might ask me that. So I've asked some of my messy church friends to help me answer. A good friend doesn't try to change you, but loves you and cares about you for who you are. What makes a good friend? Someone who uh, stays through you thick and thin, good and bad times. That makes a good friend. A good friend is someone you can trust. A good friend is someone who's honest and who will encourage you to do the right thing. Someone who you share the same hobbies or interests with. You know, you like doing the same things together or you support the same football team. Oi! When you've got a very good friend, there's somebody that you know that you can talk to them, especially about the things that you're worried about. Hello again, and I hope you've been enjoying Messy Church at Home today, learning about Zacchaeus and how Jesus called him down from the tree so he could be his friend. Well, now it's time for me to help us say, oh, some funny noise behind me. Hang on a minute. Sally? Sally, you're going to climb the tree. Sally, come here. Do you know Sally? I don't think sheep are very good at climbing trees. Oh, oh Sally, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. You're good at loads of other stuff. You give us beautiful wool for our jumpers. Oh. You were trying to climb the tree. Yes, I know you were. Why? To look for your friends. Oh, well, where are your friends? They all ran away. Well, that seems very unkind. Why did they run away, Sally? Because you eat in the daisies in the field, the juicy ones. Well, that's okay, because I'm sure you shared them with everybody, didn't you? No, you didn't share. Oh, Sally, now I think I understand why they all went away. And, or oh, something else? You feel sick. Sally? Oh, poor Sally. Now you feel sick and you've got no friends. That is really quite sad. Hmm. Well, do you know what I think you should do? I think you should go slowly because you've got tummy ache and find your friends in the field they've gone to and tell them you're sorry, really sorry you didn't share and then I'm sure they will forgive you and let you play the games again. OK, off you go then, Sally. So, friends were really important to Sally and they're really important to us too. So, as we say a, a prayer to thank God for our friends, I'm just going to remind you of the signs that we learned last week that the deaf community use when they say their prayers. So, we had love and we had amen, I agree, at the end of a prayer. And this week we're going to learn the sign for friend or friends and also the sign for thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, well if you'd like to join in with those signs when I say the prayer then please do. But if you prefer just to sit comfortably and quietly and, and listen then that, that's, that's good too. Okay, Father God, thank you for our friends and family. Please help us to be kind and loving to our friends and family and to everyone that we meet. Thank you that you love us and know us by name. Thank you that you love us and want more than anything to be our friend and saviour. Amen. This week's Activity Box is filled with lots and lots of fun things to do. 
First up, you'll receive an inflatable ball, and what you need to do is blow it up and write lots of questions on it. This is called the question ball, and then you can throw it to all your friends, and they have to catch it and answer the first question they see. So, what are you doing tomorrow? That's the question you've got to answer, and that's the question ball. We've got other activities as well. This week's quiet activity is to make a friendship mobile. Now, I've done this version, but it might be a good idea to kind of... Um, make it a bit more sturdy with some bigger card as well. Um, so the idea is that you cut out the circles and then you draw or you name all the friends that you've got and then you just give thanks to them and you look at all the colorful, um, all the colors and think about how colorful your friends make your life. This week's edible activity is everybody's gonna get a pack of strawberry laces. Take it out the pack, take a couple strands and you can either plait it or twist it around and make a friendship bracelet. Wear it around your wrist and think of all the friends you've got, see how many you can name, and then when you gobble it up and you eat it, you give thanks for your friends. This week's RT activity is Jesus Knows My Name. So you spell out your name and then you decorate your name with lots of colorful things. Um, we've also got this split pin person as part of our co construction activity. So you cut out the person and you put them together with split pins and then you write down all the things that make a good friend. Our outside activity, everybody's going to get a balloon and you have to go outside and let the balloon off and see how high you can get your balloon. So just as Zacchaeus had to climb high up in a tree, we're going to see how high we can send our balloons. There's lots of other fun things to do in this week's activity box and I hope you all have fun. It's Simon's summary, summary, su su summary, summary, holiday at home. Back again, week two, all about Jesus making friends. He was coming by, Zacchaeus knows it. He's got one shot, he don't want to blow it. But he was short, couldn't really see. And not well liked, so he hit up the tree. Jesus sees the effort and thinks that he could go round for a meal. Help Zach become good. Zach changes his way, makes amends. Say how he act, rubs off on our friends. Who we spend time with his shapes and he grows us. So let's pass on the love Jesus shows us. Don't forget the meet up Friday with Abby. Enjoy your activity. See you week three. Hooray, hooray, it's a messy holiday. Though we're at home, we're not alone. It's a messy holiday. Hooray, hooray.